Only on 7 News, tens of thousands of dollars spent cleaning up this graffiti all over the city. And now Denver police have arrested a man they've connected to $46,000 worth of damage. They caught him thanks to new technology that 7 News reporter Dale Cedars was allowed to see at work for the first time today. The task is simple. Cover the crime as quickly as possible. But it's not easy. In one day, this graffiti abatement crew came across 79 tags. Some days, the entire team finds 600. It's like brand recognition. So you want to get your name in as many different spots as you can. Police believe this tag, Tower, belongs to Michael Richardson, now facing charges. He's accused of painting this more than 300 times across the city. Damages total $46,000. To have somebody that prolific and being able to keep track of him. They track their tags with this graffiti tracker and two Denver detectives who plan to take on the graffiti in the city. We've been a little more aggressive with and met with all the DAs and trying to get them to understand that we're not just dealing with, you know, low level tagger here. Here's how they know. Every time a team of graffiti movers like this gets a call, they take a photo with a date and a time, then upload it to the graffiti tracker's database. And they actually look at it and they uh, decipher kind of what it says in that picture, you know, who all the taggers are or who all the gangsters are or, or what it says. And then they categorize it and then it gets put into a database. In the past, police could only charge taggers for graffiti they were caught in the act doing or with vandalism that police could remember. Graffiti tracker changes that. Being able to pull up, you know, 40 tags, 50 tags, 100 tags within 30 seconds, as opposed to, you know, taking two or three days trying to go through reports and pictures and trying to find out and get all the different tags that this guy did, you know, it's it, it, with a snap of a finger, you know, you're, you got a list of every place that this person had tagged. And as this database actually tracks the tagger's work, it then maps it out so it can show you where and how often a person is tagging. In this case right here, 43 times just in this one little area. Now this also helps that way once this tagger is arrested, they can then go to the criminal and charge the person for the damage done to the buildings as well as the cleanup. And it makes great sense. All right, Dale, thank you.